In this video, we will look at some of the problems and complications that can result from using Cytotec to induce labor. Cytotec is an oral medication that is commonly used to induce labor in pregnant women. Cytotec works by softening the cervix to allow easier dilation, known as ripening. In most cases, Cytotec is a safe and reliable medication that can make labor easier for women when administered correctly. Unfortunately, when the medication is not used properly or the mother is not properly monitored, there are potentially severe risks for the baby. Studies have revealed that improper usage of Cytotec can result in different types of birth injuries from adverse reactions to the drug. Cytotec is a synthetic version of the hormone prostaglandin. Cytotec was originally developed to treat stomach ulcers, but in the 1970s, doctors realized that it could help induce labor by softening the cervix. Today, Cytotec is now widely used for cervical ripening, although it should be noted that the FDA has never approved it for this purpose because of perceived risks of adverse outcomes. The main risk with, associated with Cytotec inducement is hyperstimulation. Hyperstimulation occurs when the, women, when the woman's body over-responds to the Cytotec and produces uterus contractions that are too strong and too frequent. These hyperstimulated uterus contractions are dangerous because they can restrict the supply of oxygen to the baby, which can cause brain damage. Hyperstimulation can also increase the risk of very dangerous complications such as uterine rupture and placental abruption, which can cause serious injuries and even fatalities. Hyperstimulation and other adverse effects from cytotec inducement are often the result of improper dosing or administration of the drug. Once cytotec is administered, there is no way to slow down the mother's response. This makes it very important for doctors to gradually and carefully administer the drug starting in low doses. After the cytotec is given, the woman and baby should be carefully monitored throughout delivery to recognize any fetal distress or intense contractions. If labor is still not induced by 100 milligrams, a C-section should be performed instead of continuing to administer cytotec.